Welcome to Gene and Mike do the New York Times crossword. Gene is off tonight, and so I will be playing all the instruments, so to speak, for Friday, May 10th, 2024. I will ask the inevitable question, did I do the crossword? I did do the crossword and was able to do so fairly expeditiously. It looked hard to start. I didn't get very much traction at the top of the uh, grid, but in the middle, I found a foothold and then was able to uh, sort of branch out from there. At the top of the grid, they had some great clues. Uh, one down, speech prompter, perhaps. And I was like, well, is it an iPad? Is it? And I was trying to think of the name of any other speech prompter. The answer turned out to be award. Very funny. Um, in that same general vicinity, we had high degree. I went for PhD immediately, but it turned out they wanted nth, N-T-H, as in the nth degree. And next to it, as a, um, an Anglophile, I was sort of disappointed myself that I, that I, that didn't immediately leap to mind, but it did, after a little bit of, of fighting, I came up with a name and I was trying to convince myself whether or not it was correct, uh, six down, British PM between David and Boris. And the answer was Teresa, as in Teresa May. The one next to it was great. Uh, seven down, one who can't handle their moonshine well, werewolf. That was very, very well done. Uh, and the one next to it, eight down, who soliloquizes? The path to my fixed purpose is laid with iron rails, whereon my soul is grooved to run. And that was Ahab. It was four letters long and... I don't know, somehow that, that just seemed right. I'm not sure if I had any crosses at that, at that point, but uh, let's see here. Um, 15 across, oh, why not? And the answer was, what the hay? I thought that was sort of amusing. And 17 across, uh, so hot right now was all the rage. So there were some good clues and good cluing happening in that part of the grid. Um, 19 across, home of the Teatro de Marcello was Roma. I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit. And if you've been doing the crosswords for any length of time, 20 across, first name and country, four letters, Reba, ought to have leapt to mind. Uh, I know hardly any country singers except for Reba McIntyre, and that because of the New York Times crossword. Let's see here. 12 down, I found fascinating. Snowdrops for spring. And I looked at that word and thought, snowdrops, and I thought it was just some portmanteau of snowflakes and, and raindrops. Uh, the answer was early sign, and I did um, a bit of research, that is to say I went to Google, and discovered that snowdrop um, is another word, for, another name for uh, galanthus, a small genus of approximately 20 species of bulbous perennial herbaceous plants in the family unpronounceable. The plants have two linear leaves and a single, small, white, drooping, bell-shaped flower. And um, what's, what's interesting about them is that they tend to be the very first flowers to uh, show up. And so um, that's why they uh, got the clue that they did there. Let's see. 13 down. Attention seeker was a hem. That was good. And... Uh, let's see, 23 down, 23 down being noses, and the answer was smellers, which I was, I was amused by, um, and I was confused by 26 across. None of this makes any sense. The answer was, I'm so confused. Actually, I started to write that out, and, and it just all sort of fitted as it should, so I was pleased to see that happening. 29 down, negative impression was a dent. That was cute. Uh, let's see here. Um, um, curses, it was a ruse. 26 down was, I've been had. So these were, you know, fairly difficult. But on the other hand, these are phrases that, that just seem natural uh, for the quote. So I didn't have a whole lot of trouble in that area, that area being the southwest corner of the grid. 36 down was app originally called Peekaboo, and it turned out to be Snapchat. I think they should have stuck with Peekaboo, but anywho. Um, 
Let's see, 41 down the Italian seaport that's home to Myanmar Castle. And the answer was Trieste. I think Trieste means sadness in French. So hopefully that isn't really a very sad place. Uh, taking a, a quick peek at xwordinfo.com, there were in fact five debut answers in this grid. Trieste was not one of them. Uh, Trieste has shown up, in fact, a total of 100 times. So that's a very common crossword word, although it hasn't shown up lately. It showed up today, and then previously in 2019, and then in 2012. It looks like it had its heydays in the 40s through the, the, the I better correct myself, uh, 1940s through the 1960s, correcting myself just in case any future historians are listening to this and need to know what century we're talking about. Um, The very first time that Trieste appeared in the grid, Sunday, April 5th, 1942, clued as the strategic seaport of Italy. It's almost always an Adriatic or Italian seaport. So if you see Italian seaport, think Trieste. Meanwhile, in other parts of the grid, we had 46 down. Lose the threads? The answer was strip. (laughs) Haha, that was cute. And 47 down, the Bill Withers hit of 1972 was Use Me. And I listened to a bit of that song just a moment ago, and it's pretty inspiring, I thought. Uh, 49 across. 49 across was Stockholders, but that was two words, and the answer was Barnes. That was quite amusing. And let's see here. Swimmer, also known as a moonfish, was Opa. Um... There's no relation to Oprah, but anyway, Opa. Level bests, 55 across was high scores. That was cute. And 58, it took me a little while to sort of bash this into shape. Request after being barraged with questions, one at a time. And that certainly makes sense. So all in all, a fine crossword. This was, in fact, a debut crossword by Jesse Cohn. So well done, Jesse. Uh, it is Friday, which means it's time for Fun Fact Friday. But Gene is not here. And the fun fact that we have in store for you for this week really needs an American as part of this podcast to supply color commentary. So we're going to put off Fun Fact Friday until um, Saturday. I don't know if we're going to call it Fun Fact Saturday or Fun Fact Sorry I'm Late Friday. We'll figure that out tomorrow. But in any event, thanks so much for listening. Remember, you can always give us feedback, crossword podcast at iCloud.com. We appreciate anything you do to make this podcast go viral. And we will see all of you again tomorrow.